Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, and welcome to Command Power, the show in which we discuss all things Magic the Gathering with a focus on Commander. And today we have another episode in our Spoiler Spotlight series in which I talk about, well, spoilers and tell you what my thoughts are on them. But before that, just a quick reminder to please click subscribe if you enjoy these videos. We're getting close to a thousand subscribers and it means the world to me. Much appreciated. And today we're going to be talking about Infernal Sovereign. For four colorless and two black, it's a 6-6 six -six creature demon with flying, trample, skip your draw step, and whenever you play a land or cast a spell, you draw a card and you lose one life. So this is really similar to Null Profusion and Recycle, two cards that we've already had in the past that are enchantments that cost six mana and allow you to draw a card whenever you play a card, but you also skip your draw step and have a maximum hand size of two. So people have been quick to dismiss this card online. I've seen a lot of negative talk, but I actually think that this is quite a bit better than both of those cards, which can be decent in the right strategy. So this is obviously going to be at its best in a combo deck. This is a really, really great way to filter through your deck. If you're playing stuff that's fairly cheap, or you have ways to bounce zero mana cards to your hand, which you can do in a few different strategies, then this can basically allow you to draw a ton of cards. It is a bit unfortunate that you're losing one life when it does so, so that is a downside compared to the other two. But even so, this can still really allow you to go off in the mid turns of a game and the fact that it triggers on lands as well means that it's much harder to completely run out of gas. It also comes with a 6-6 six, six flying body so you're actually adding to the board when you're playing this which can't be said about the other two cards. That is actually a not insignificant downside. Tapping out to play a 6 mana enchantment that requires you to do other things to do anything at all is kind of bad. Tapping out to get a 6-6 six, six flying trample in the meantime is not bad at all. You're adding a pretty reasonable body to the board and one that's actually going to build towards your game plan. Where this is particularly strong is going to be in decks with commanders that already skip your draw steps, such as Tigam Sidisi's Hand. That's going to still allow you to draw your card for the turn normally, as well as use this ability so that you can actually have your cake and eat it too. It also seems really good to me in Gix Yorgmoth Praetor, because with that commander, you're actually getting a ton of cards through the combat damage that your creatures are dealing, so you're never really going to lock yourself out of the game, and this is just extra fuel. And since you're already putting a ton of life gain in the deck, because Gix is losing you life when you draw every time, then that also helps mitigate the life loss from this card. So it seems like a really, really good fit in that strategy. Just to make things clear, I do not think this card is broken in any way. I think it's very fair for six mana, but I do think it is important to reevaluate cards that look similar to old cards and make sure that we're not falling into the trap of dismissing them without considering them first. For example, in Gix Yorgmoth Praetor decks, Null Profusion is completely unplayable because tapping out for a six mana enchantment that doesn't affect the board and isn't a creature that can draw your cards with Gix is really bad. However, playing a big flying trampler that is almost certainly going to be able to get through for damage is really good, especially when it comes with that extra upside. So yeah, in the right deck, I can see this being really strong, and I would definitely give it a try if you have a deck where you think it might fit. So there you have it. Those have been my thoughts on this new spoiler. What do you think about this card? Please let me know in the comment section below. I read all comments and respond to all of them too. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like or subscribe. It really helps the channel. And until next time, take care. Woo! Tell